Welcome to the Pediatric Respiratory Compromise Skills Edition. These progressive skills are designed to evaluate your ability to provide immediate and aggressive ventilatory assistance to a one-year-old child in respiratory distress. No other associated injuries are present. This is a non-trauma situation and cervical precautions are not necessary. You must actually perform all the assessments and interventions that you feel are necessary. If you choose to ventilate the mannequin with a bag valve mask device, you must do so for at least one minute. I will serve as your trained assistant and will be interacting with you throughout these skills. I will correctly carry out your orders upon your direction. Do you have any questions? I do not. You respond to a residence for a sick child who is having difficulty breathing. The scene is safe and no hemorrhage or other immediate problem is found. As you enter the residence, you see a one-year-old child sitting on the mother's lap. BSIP, my scene is safe. Okay, as I enter the residence, um, see the child, I notice my general impression that they are, uh, that I, there's, there's a sick child here and it looks like they're breathing at a slow rate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, determine the level of consciousness. Baby, baby, baby. And at the same time, uh, go ahead and look, listen, feel check for any secretions or oral obstruction in the airway. And I'm also gonna uh, check for breathing at this time. Um, I use my stethoscope to check uh, quality and rate. Okay, check breathing. At this time, uh, I would go ahead and uh, attach a SpO2. The pulse oximetry shows a saturation of 82%. Okay. That, that's not very good at all. So what I would like to do is uh, place in a non rebreather with high flow oxygen. So I'd attach it to my uh, tank, 15 liters per minute. Um, go ahead and place non rebreather on the child. This time I want to uh, go ahead and check for a pulse and also check uh, for perfusion or evaluate perfusion. So skin color and temperature. And I would also get a set of baseline vital signs at this time. The patient begins to develop decreasing SpO2 and decreasing pulse rate. Okay, well, I, first thing I wanna try is, is open up the airway a little better so I can use a towel and place it underneath the child to lift it under their shoulder blades, their torso. Hopefully that'll open up the airway. So I'd open up the airway and I'm gonna remove the uh, non-rebreather and select the correct size oral adjunct. This looks like the right size. Place the OPA into the child. No gag reflex is present and the patient accepts the airway adjunct. The patient's respiratory rate is now 20 breaths per minute. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my um, remove the non rebreather and go ahead and connect my BVM to high flow oxygen and place it on the child and ventilate at least 20 breaths per minute. How would you know if you were ventilating the patient properly? Uh, equal bilateral chest rise and fall. And I would also like to call for immediate transport. Thank you.